Welcome to Introduction to ThinkSpace. ThinkSpace, part of the Discovery module, is a Logi Info element that allows you to enjoy a rich and highly interactive analysis experience. With its easy to use interface, you can quickly create your own data analysis. Let's get started. In order to access ThinkSpace, first open your InfoGo application. A logon box will open where you can authenticate by entering your username and password. Once logged on, you're brought to Logi's homepage. Go to the menu on the left-hand side of the page and click the second option titled Visual Analysis. To start building visualizations and reports, Let's first select our data source from the drop-down menu. For this and following examples, we will use data from the Northwind database. You can use any data with similar data types to follow along. The next step is to select our data set. We are going to select the orders data set. You will then be brought to this screen where you have the option to select what data you would like to analyze. In the Northwind database, you can see that there is data about the customer, ship date, ship city, etc. For this example, we are going to keep all of the types of data selected. When you are finished, click Apply Column Selection to make the changes. You can then close this window by clicking the X at the top right. If you want to change your data selection later, you can always go back and click this icon and the box will open again. Before jumping into analysis, it's important to understand the different components of the ThinkSpace user interface. The user interface consists of two main sections. The upper area, which is currently blank, shows the charts and tables you create. The lower area displays your data in a simple table. You can see all this data by scrolling up and down. The visualization menu is on the left side of the screen. This menu lists the different options for visualizing your data, including tables in a variety of charts and graphs. Take note that some options have submenus. For example, within the Tables section, there's the option for a normal table and a crosstab table. The user can select an appropriate visualization based on their data set and can easily switch between types. To show you more details of the user interface, we will need to select a visualization. For this example, let's select a standard bar chart. The next step is selecting the data columns you want in the x-axis and y-axis of the visualization. You can do this by dragging the columns from the table at the bottom into the blue drop zones at each axis. These are clearly labeled with the text drag column here. For this example, let's drag the order ID column to the y-axis and the ship country column to the x-axis. Once these data columns are in the drop zone, they are called pills. You can also add pills to the drop zone by clicking the plus icon. So for the Y axis, click the plus icon and select order ID. After you close the window, you see that the order ID pill has been added to the drop zone. Then click the plus icon on the X axis to add the ship country pill. After you close the box, you see that your visualization has been updated. This is where the visualization is shown. Based on the type of visualization selected, this area displays the user's data in a chart or table. In this example, we have a simple bar chart showing the amount of orders per country. You can quickly change the type of visualization by selecting from the options on the left. For example, we can view this data in a line chart. Or a circle chart if we want. But we will stay with the bar chart for now. Up in the right hand corner, there is a settings icon. You can use this to add or remove the legend and decide if you like it on the bottom 
or the right of the visualization. You also have the option to delete your visualization. Clicking the zoom icon, you can choose between different options including zoom mode, selection mode, and drill mode. The last option will export your visualization to an image on your computer. You are able to add additional columns into the y-axis to create a crosstab table or a timeline chart. You do this by simply dragging the columns into the drop zones like we did earlier. The user can click these arrows to show or hide the pill drop zones. Hiding the pill drop zones allows you to see a larger view of the visualization. When you're ready to make more changes, you simply click the arrows, which will show the drop zone again. Next, we'll talk about the table resizer. You can drag this arrow all the way up or all the way down to change the number of table rows shown. If you need to take a closer look at the data, you might want to expand the table size. If you aren't using the data and want to view the visualization on a larger scale, you can drag it all the way down. ThinkSpace also gives the user many advanced options for data enrichment. These include filters, calculated columns, CSV export, and a show and hide option. Please see further videos to learn how to use each of these options. Column pills appear at the top of each column of data in the table. Each pill has a variety of options. For example, Customer ID has the option to add a new calculation, add a new filter, and also has an option for grouping. This is the data table showing all of the data available for analysis. You can view all the data by scrolling up and down. The data shown here is the data we selected at the beginning of this video and can be changed by going back to this icon. This data access is pre-selected by the user's application developer and may be restricted by security permissions assigned to the user. Thank you for joining us for this brief introduction to ThinkSpace.